Guys, let me just tell you, man, an individual life change is the means to which this nation just changed. When we come here, we've got to make sure that we are, people know we're collective individuals that have been transformed. And I want you to know something. The ministry that you have with your neighbor, the ministry you have with folks in your office that you think are the last people who are going to trust Christ, that life being changed, that's the power of the gospel. I, and then a one guy, when he would go preach in one area for one time, for a long time, he used to always pray that God would take the most radically lost person there and change him. Because he knew that that was going to be the means to which everybody else all of a sudden, whoa, how did that happen? You go after those that you think can never be gotten. And you pray that they have a radical encounter with Jesus. And guess what? The way they're going to have a radical encounter with Jesus is they're going to meet you, somebody who knows Jesus, and when they sit there and pop off about their lame life, you can look at them and say, do you want to be healed? You believe in Jesus Christ and the power of his resurrection, and you follow me as I follow him.